Shortly before this encounter, we discover that both Hicks and Newt have been killed in the EEV crash, which presents us with further problems. We've previously assumed that if we take the events on the Psyarko literally, the facehugger was attached to Hicks. Hicks is now dead, his entire head and shoulders maimed beyond recognition no less, with no obvious traces of the hugger or any potential embryo it implanted. Newt is stuck in a silent scream trapped inside her tube, as if she woke up at some point, couldn't get out of the tube and subsequently drowned. Bishop also suffers further damage during the crash. Ripley is the sole survivor found by prisoner Frank and is taken to the infirmary. The EEV wreckage is hoisted via crane into the prison complex, supervised by two prisoners on its roof, one of whom is very likely prisoner Murphy. Murphy's Rottweiler dog Spike rides inside. Spike barks incessantly at something further inside the EEV beyond Bishop's tube. A facehugger. How? We only saw one egg on the Salako and we only saw one hugger. Is this the same one? Previous experience suggests that a hugger implants one embryo and dies. However, our previous experience extends as far as only one example, Cain. As far as Ash leads us to believe it died after implantation. But Ash was rather duplicitous, so can we trust his judgement? Ash's primary purpose was to ensure the return of specimens, so he wouldn't have killed the facehugger himself. As far as we know, Kane's hugger was sealed in the Nostromo's infirmary, so maybe it did look for another host after it was done with Kane, but couldn't escape. However, it managed to burn through Kane's faceplate, so why didn't it melt through the infirmary's observation glass? Perhaps it couldn't. The hugger on the Salako didn't melt through any of the cryotubes, so perhaps there are some materials that are resistant to hugger acid, similar to the Medlab stasis tubes. Ripley used her previous experience to hypothesise one hugger per colonist on LV-426, but her experience is limited, so it would seem that facehuggers are able to live on after embryo implantation, or at the very least, this one can.